spend the day in Dublin with us. This is our first stop on our big Ireland trip. After heading to our hotel and changing real quick, we stopped at this little coffee shop where we got a pastry and some coffee and then made our way to Trinity College. It was a really beautiful campus. We walked around quite a bit. We thought that building <laughs> was actually real, but I guess it was actually just a drawing. And it was perfect because the leaves were changing too, so it was super pretty on campus. We also booked the Book of Kells experience, including the old library, which I thought was really cool because you got to see how they preserved the books and just the architecture in there is really pretty. Then we made our way to Dublin Castle, walked around there a little bit, really wasn't there for that much longer, and we got hungry, so we headed to the Brazen Head, which is the oldest pub in Ireland, I believe, and shared some fish and chips. Adrian got some beer and I got a Pepsi. And this fish and chips was really, really good. I was honestly surprised the fish was so crispy. It may have been the best fish and chips I've ever had. Afterwards, we went to the Guinness storehouse to do the tour, which surprisingly I enjoyed more than I thought I was going to. It was just like really immersive. All the art installations were really cool. So even if you're not into beer, like it's a fun experience. I would definitely recommend this. And they even show you how to properly drink a Guinness. This was my favorite little part, the little fish on the bike. And then we made our way upstairs to the gravity bar where there's a 360 view of Dublin. I appreciated that they have the zero proof Guinness for me to try, especially because I don't drink. Adrian and I proceeded to try to split the G, but failed miserably. He drank way too much, but I barely sipped it. It was just so gross. It was not for me. I just don't think we're big Guinness fans. On our way back to our hotel, I stopped at a charity shop. I didn't really find anything and stopped at this little park, which was really cute. After resting for a bit, we went to Kyo's lounge and bar and it was really busy for a Tuesday night, surprisingly. And then we just ended the day at Xi'an Street Food, where we got our first spice bag and also bang bang noodles. Highly recommend.